This dam is bone dry now, but it won't be long until it's flooded and flourishing with life. I still remember feeling thrilled and excited when I was about six years old, finding a tiny little long necked turtle hatchling here in the mud. It opened my mind to the fact that life exists everywhere. I was inspired to make its home even better and turn what was a plain clay hole in the ground into a wildlife habitat. The shrubs and trees I planted thrived and I watched frogs, insects and small birds flourish. It was like discovering a giant living Lego set, one that I could play in. You too can create homes for wildlife at your place and you don't need a dam because there's a whole range of simple things you can do at even the smallest house. Come on, let's explore some of them. Small ponds can be made with a simple plant pot, as long as the drainage hole's plugged. Adding habitat will help the smaller animals climb out. and it doesn't take long for some locals to find the water. Even if it's in a simple shallow dish near the ground. But bigger birds prefer their water elevated, where it's safe from predators. Of course, wildlife needs to eat too. But there's no need for seed because it attracts some birds that don't belong here. Why not explore your local bushland to find better ways to feed fauna? On beautiful granite outcrops like this one, there's a whole range of plants that provide the perfect natural food for wildlife. And this is one of my favourites. This is a fuchsia grevillea. It's got exquisite emerald green foliage and it grows so well in dry conditions with hardly any water. Not long after planting one at my place, it put on a sweet show. And birds like this western spinebill still come to get their sugar hit. Most nurseries stock a range of local native plants that can be planted at your place. Adding logs and rocks helps cater for our scaly friends who love to charge their solar powered batteries. Once your plants become established, you might be lucky enough to find a nest or two. But some birds need tree hollow homes for their family. This is a simple nest box made from scrap wood. When installed on a tree or building, it's a great housing option for a range of locals. Ring-neck parrots, possums and even owls might move in. It's not just the bigger beasts that move into DIY homes. Bamboo can be converted into insect hotels. Native bees are just one example of an insect that lays its eggs inside the small holes in the timber, then seals up the entrance to protect its growing family. But you don't need to make a hotel to find insects and other small creatures. You'll be amazed at how many already live at your place, by day or even by night. Be respectful of these creatures and don't disturb their activities if you can help it and watch out for the ones that might bite or sting. You might find you're not the only one out looking for nightlife. We're so lucky to live in a beautiful part of the Perth Hills that still has lots of its original wildlife, but we've got to look after it. There's now a whole new generation engaging with the wildlife in their backyard and they're feeling happy and healthy because of it. Are you one of them? <laughs>